Hello there, my name is Unleaded Fangs, and welcome back to a new Minecraft world. So today we are starting out on a modded Minecraft server. I, I've i never played modded Minecraft, um, gonna be, gonna be honest about that one. So uh, this is gonna be a first, and we are on a server with other people, and it should be kind of fun to uh, experience mods for the first time. And uh, as you can see, I am in a water elevator right now so I can breathe underwater because I was on the shore and it was nighttime and there there were a lot of really mean mobs. So um, it doesn't appear that there's anything down here in this little sea temple. I saw this like ocean temple. Oh, I bet there's something below it actually. Yeah, so uh, you can see I you can see I kind of died over there kind of so uh yeah, you know, it's uh, sometimes things don't go perfectly. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab some of this wood. I'm hoping I can just, I can still punch wood. Okay, good, I can. Um, so I know, I know absolutely nothing about this mod pack. I'm going in entirely blind. Um, so we have a lot of stuff that we're gonna learn through this series, and I think this will be. Oh. Oh. Ah. Well. So trees are going to just fall apart in this mod pack. And what do we have? We have Nightshade, uh, Poisonous, heals the player when eating. So we have a red current. Um, interesting. So uh, I don't think any of, I don't think these Poisonous, I think these do. I think we kind of like can get a a safe like interest in it. So we have a sapling for that tree. Um, oh, well, so that was, uh, <laughs> that was a lot of achievements. Um, Okay then, so we've got a crafting table. Let's go ahead and craft some sticks and I think we'll make, you know, some wooden equipment. Does this stuff all craft like normal? Okay, it looks like we can just craft everything as if it was a normal world. So we're gonna start off with the basics. Now, I don't I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing here, but uh, let's see if we can, so we can also harvest this willow tree, which gives, oh, this is a willow, wait. So there's two variants of willow trees, willow vines and span, oh, so that's Spanish moss. So this is like, this is a different tree. Interesting, okay. Um, so people are kind of going everywhere. I think I'm going to do something different than everybody else. And we're going to go out on the ocean. Now, everyone else may know something I don't and, uh, could be a reason why everyone's not going to the ocean, but uh, when have I ever been one to follow rules? So let's go ahead and chop a little bit of this tree off. Since it's a special tree, you know, no one will notice if I uh, only cut half the logs out and they totally won't, oh wait, that would make it a floating tree. They'll notice that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, nobody notices. I'm, I'm, I'm sure no one would notice that. Oh, so wait. Why are these different? They're both willow planks, but oh no. Off we go. The whale, I, I would assume a whale is a friendly, oh. Okay, so that was a little bit of an awkward one. I got kicked for flying, so that was just a little fluke there. And uh, ooh, we've got a little island here. Oh, I really like this actually. I don't like how close it is to spawn. Um, But this is pretty nice, not gonna lie. Ooh, we got watermelons. Uh, we are experiencing a little bit of server lag, but that should subside after a little bit. Oh, what is this? Oh, waystones, okay. Oh, goodbye. That is a lot of mobs, goodbye. Have fun, peace out, hello there. Okay, so we do have, we have all kinds of uh, gorillas on this island, that's really cool, okay. Oh, okay. We have a sunken ship here. We'll go ahead and loot this because, uh, yeah. Okay, this is actually not bad at all. Okay, what is this? I, uh, I don't know if there's gonna be mobs on this, but if there's not, this would be, oh, okay, there are definitely mobs on this. There is a, there is a lot of pillagers on that. So we are definitely not going to be going on top of this ship uh, because those have special arrows in them. So I'm assuming they do big damage probably. So it's the next day. An entire day has passed because I wanted to let the server settle down and let people do some exploring and get the lag reduced a little bit for myself. And this area looks absolutely amazing. I love this biome. Um, whatever this is looks absolutely so cool. Um, and I've, I've never seen a mini map before inside of Minecraft, so this is also really cool to me. So I know we passed these two ships um, yesterday and we landed here. Now, 
I love this biome, but I don't love the fact that this is a normal biome. Oh, there's something over here. We'll have to do some exploring there. But I, if I'm going to be playing modded, I do not want to be reminded of vanilla because... You know, I have I have a vanilla series going right now. <laughs> the Let's Play series is doing really well and I really enjoy it. And yeah, I don't I don't want to be thinking about vanilla Minecraft on a modded world. So I want to get as far away as possible from the whole um, vanilla aspect. Another really big issue we currently have is actually food because I have no idea what to do for a food source. Okay, so we made a full loop around and we're coming up on these two buildings here. Um, if there's nothing here, I think we will take this area. Oh, that's a crow. Okay, so what's inside of this? I'm I'm so I'm so curious about this mod, what all there is. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, we've got like a ton of uh we've got a ton of stuff. Um Inside of that room alone, there's an armor table and all of that stuff. Um, okay, yeah, we... I like these. Isn't this a two-story house? Yeah, wait, where's the second floor? Oh, it's right in front of me. So this house seems to be uh, flooded in over here, which kind of sucks because... This is where I was hoping to set up instead of uh, the other one. But I guess we can't always have what we want. We're actually, we're really close to this buried treasured. Let's back up, line ourselves up, forward, forward. And basically what you wanna do is get it so you just see one line of white and the chest is gonna be on this front block right there. Bam, and that is a ton of material, ooh. Oh, wait. Does this allow us to breathe underwater? How do I equip the snorkel? Wait. Oh, okay. That, whatever that thing is, definitely looks hostile. So I'm going to avoid it. Um, but this is, we got a snorkel from that treasure chest, which allows us to breathe underwater indefinitely. Uh, that is a huge and awesome find. I mean, that is absolutely awesome. So we need to figure out what we're going to do for base. I've dumped all my stuff in this house here. First things first, let's go ahead and um, craft myself some armor um, because this is a very deadly world. So do we just eat raw fish? Uh, I guess we do. Okay, so uh, I just got another artifact, which that's the wrong thing. Um, I don't know, oh, it equips down here. Yeah, so I got a fire gauntlet. That is, um, that is really big actually, so. Um, I don't know exactly what it does, but it said everything I punch will light on fire and burn to death, which I don't know about you, but that sounds awesome to me. And I just got fly kicked. Well, hello there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's been, uh, you know, quite a few hours since the last clip. And, uh, yeah, we've acquired a lot of stuff, um, and we are, we're kind of stranded in a village and we're surrounded by hostiles because it's nighttime, it's raining, and everybody's online. And, uh, well, you know, uh, not everyone has a bed. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of stuck right now. But how'd we get here? Well, I basically got lost exploring for like 10 hours. And um, I have backpacks and backpacks full of gear. Um, we have some really good loot that I'm looking forward to looking at, but we need to get a starter base down. Um, but since it's raining and it's dark out, let's go ahead and take a minute and kind of just take a glance at what all we got. Okay, so in backpack number one, we have my miniature head collection. So as I was going around, I was finding these randomly, like there would be little huts and these would be inside of them. So that's really, really, really cool. Um, this is kind of my arrow collection. We got this tombstone soulbound bow. I have no idea what that does, but probably is worth something. Um, we managed to find two moonstones. I just, I don't know what they were. So this was my valuables back and, uh, yeah, I kind of, it's kind of not a valuables anymore. It's kind of just, I ran out of space and I needed more. Um, however, let me look. I think we have somewhere. Yeah. 
So let's craft one more bag. And the reason for do ooh, we're going to need we're going to need a little bit of stuff here. There we go. We'll slap a crafting table in the corner here. And we need to craft one more log, craft a chest. And um, OK, we should have everything. So in order to craft a backpack, we need a chest four leather and four string. This is going to craft us a default backpack. Now, um, people have figured out that if you take iron and put this in here and surround this in iron, we'll now have an upgraded iron backpack. Now, the iron backpack has a double chest of inventory space, which is really good. You know, that's that's huge. Then if we take gold and take the iron backpack and surround the iron backpack, we have a golden backpack. This is even bigger. Like, like, look at all this space. And then after that, people figured out that you can also do the same with diamonds. And yes, I am going to waste my diamonds to do this because who does not want more space? Look at all this inventory space. Look how much there is. This is absolutely awesome. There's so much. And I did figure out how to access the bag with a keybind on my back. So absolutely awesome. Um, there are add-ons for the bag. So let's see real quick. Um, we do have these add-ons. Um, we need an upgrade base. I don't know how to get that, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Let me actually, uh, real quickly, let's see if we can just find that in the um, menu here. Upgrade base right here. So, oh, actually we can, oh no, I might. Oh, I'm just shot. Okay, wait. I've got to go. I've got to go kill some spiders. I'll be back. The rain stopped. Finally, it's a miracle. Please drop me string spider. I desperately just need one spring or one piece of string. Okay, so yeah, a lot of the reason why I've been cutting combat and stuff out is just due to how laggy uh, the server has been. It's been pretty laggy. So here we have an upgrade base and um, I want to make it so that way I can. Okay, what I was saying was is I want to get a little add on that allows me to craft from my backpack. So what we have to do is put in this combined with a crafting table and a chest followed by two iron ingots. This should be the crafting table upgrade. And this allows us to now have a crafting table in our backpack, which is absolutely awesome. And um, we can entirely add in more upgrades. Um, so there's a couple other really cool upgrades that I'm probably going to try and get. Um, let's just, for fun, let's try and get a stack upgrade. So we need nine blocks of iron. I'm not sure if I can afford that. Let's see if I can, actually. Oh, no, I'm just shy of it. Oh, if I sacrifice all of my iron, I can. Okay, that's 100% that's worth doing. Oh, wait, no, I'll need to craft another upgrade, which requires four iron. So I do not have enough to do that. Well, that is unfortunate, so I guess we won't be doing that yet, but eventually we will. Um, so, yeah, now I have a big backpack. Oh, wait, I wanted the one that allows me to put a backpack inside of a backpack. Oh, so in order to, uh, okay, so in order to get the ability to put a backpack inside of a backpack, we actually have to have a nether star, so we won't be doing that for a while. So that dream will not be happening for a while, sadly. But I am going to take this chance to go ahead and sort up my bags once more. And then we're going to set off and attempt to start our base finally. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our map. Right now we are inside of this village over here. We do have a shipwreck up there. Maybe we'll go loot that real quick and check it out. But I have been exploring all around. Like, yeah, you, you can see I have went for miles in basically every direction around here. And I have a few points of interest that we're going to check out in the next episode. But for today, we need to get a starter base down. And um, yeah, I think I think this hill is probably our best bet. I, I am very indecisive when it comes to putting a base down, especially in a modded series where there is so many different biomes and so many cool things. But um, this right here, this hill puts us near everything. We've got this biome here, we've got this biome, we've got this one, we've got all of this deadland with the snow. Um, we've got all kinds of unique structures and meteorite dens and caves. We've got basically access to everything we could ever want building here and we are a considerable distance away from spawn. Um, spawn is all the way up here and as you can see, we are, we are very far away. 
Um, so we're gonna go look at where we can build a base up there. But first, let's check out this uh, shipwreck over here. I just picked up this garbage I threw away and didn't want that. Kind of a cool feature of one of the artifacts I found. And oh, that's kind of cool. But oh yeah, that's another thing. I found I found these artifacts. The snorkel you guys saw earlier. But I also managed to find a fire gauntlet, which is a Terraria item. I'm pretty sure this sprite is actually from Terraria. And uh, we have the Universal Attractor. This is an upgrade that pulls items all to me, and which is really nice. And the fire gauntlet just causes everybody to ignite into a fireball, which is, well, you know, self-explanatory why that's awesome. Now let's go ahead and um, check out this boat. Uh-oh. I never like hearing things, because uh, in a mod pack, there could be something here to kill you. But, you know, we can't drown, so I can I can sit underwater forever. No fear of drowning. And we got a little bit of lag, so that's, you know, we got blessing. I have no idea what that does. We'll just go ahead and take everything at this point, since I have such a big bag. And swim up, over, and down. I need a shovel. All right, now the server finally caught up. Ooh, we actually got a good chest. Let's go. And that'll actually allow us to craft the upgrade for our backpack. So let's go ahead and do that again real quick. Well, I keep getting excited thinking I can actually craft something. And then I keep forgetting that I don't have some other material. So that's unlucky. Um, can't craft that backpack upgrade yet, but we will be able to soon. Um, wow, that we I keep seeing these unique trees and... Um, I'm kind of interested. I need to get tools. Tools are a big thing I need. I need a starter base. I need to get organized. I need everything. I just got to do. So, um, let's just get up on top of this hill and check things out. Because we've got this windmill over here, um, which spawns mobs. So that's going to be kind of a, it's going to be kind of a rough area, honestly. We're probably going to need to nuke it later. And yes, I, I mean, literally nuke it. Um, apparently I didn't pick up a pumpkin at some point. So up here on this mountain, you can see that the redwoods kind of grows up to the mountain's foot, which is really cool. I really like the redwoods. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue a custom redwoods biome. I'm hoping that the redwoods trees actually cause Podzol to replace the ground. If they don't, we're just gonna have to go and find taiga trees or spruce trees and um, then we'll plant them in four by four sections and turn everything into podzel. Um, that will then allow us to have a good base for the red forest to go around our base. But check out this mountaintop here. So we have got, um, oh, we're all chicken. What the heck? Are crows killing chickens? Um, but we have the redwoods is entirely around this bottom side and the cave or the, the cave the cliff kind of drops off on this side. It's raw stone, which looks really cool. Like the map looks extremely cool. Um, so I'm thinking on like the top of this mountain, we build our mega base. Like we we are building a mega base on this modded world because we're gonna need all that space. Like if there's anything I know about modded worlds, it's that you need tons and tons of space for everything you wanna do. So we need to find a nice cozy little area to put our starter base in. And um, I don't want to do it too close to where I'm going to build my main base in case things go bad. You know what? That right there, that looks great. It's a nice square hill and we can kind of make a simple entrance to our base that looks simple, I think. And uh, then we can just, you know, pull it all together eventually with a nice build. And the server's, the server's lagging really bad. Whenever there's a lot of people on, which I guess a lot is four, um, it's lagging really bad. And I think it's mostly just due to the fact that um, people are exploring. So yeah, this is, this is going to be rough. Okay, so we're going to be building a base now. And the question comes to be, what is the base going to look like? Well, I have a few ideas and there is a couple palette choices we have to make. So... We have this, this block actually looks really cool. And if we strip it, it becomes blue, which I think is gonna make a really good accent. Um, so that I want that to be an accent color. And then we have these two logs, which kind of like strip to, they're kind of good tones. So what I'm kind of thinking 
is we do a three tone build. So we do this. So we do these blocks right here. We ditch the fur and uh, we're going to be using the jar uh, Jacaranda. I, I probably butchered that brutally, but um, we also have a dungeon right behind us here. So that should be pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and just kind of mock something up here. So I'm thinking we have that. And then maybe make this too deep. And then out of here, we then build with the white logs. So then we have something like this. I think I think that'll create an interesting looking wall. And I, I just want to do a square for now. I'm thinking a square with a single arch around it like this which we are gonna to have to place my bag down and grab three iron, as well as smack a crafting table down and craft us another ax real quick. There we go. And um, we'll strip these and kind of get a better idea here. Uh, yeah, I think, I think this looks okay. And the question is, which way do we want this structure facing? Um, I'm thinking of making a square box, but if I do that, then it's going to look like a square box, and I'm not quite sure that that's what we want. Um, but yeah, I think it's what we're going to do, whether I want it or not. So, in theory, if I do this, is this the way I want to do it? Because then, then we're cutting off these corners, so no, I actually want to do this to maintain my corners. So this piece is actually going to be back. Oh, and well, to get it too wide, it would be this way. Uh, well, maybe we can do a blue highlight up the center there. Kind of change it up somehow. Or we make, maybe these are only one wide. These only stick out one block. That could make sense. So let's go ahead and we set these in. We just want to get the footprint down for now, what we're going to look at in the end. Um, so I think, oop, no, we don't want to strip these. There we go. Um, I am going to go ahead and fill these corners just because I don't have torches. So I'm going to save up on this wood and just use junk wood to fill the corners. And then I think what we're going to do is take it all the way around just doing this basic design. And we're literally going to live in a square that looks like this for now. But um, this will just give us a place to get our headquarters up and running because currently I have a big issue of not knowing what the base should even look like. And let's real quick look at Mithril. Uh, okay, that doesn't look as good. The reason why I want to stay away from Mineral is because uh, you can't mine it with a tool. It doesn't actually... the log does not accept like an axe as the tool so it takes forever to mine if you need to so if you place a lot of that stuff and change your mind well you're you're kind of just going to be dealing with it okay so with the basic structure shape down i think i think this will look okay oh we need this corner in still uh just that and then let's use fir wood to fill it in because this is kind of abundant here okay so, um, this is looking decent, I believe. Where are we going to put the door is the next big question. I'm thinking, I don't think it should be in this area, but maybe it should be. Because I don't think we can have a blue door. I'd have to see if I can craft a blue door, actually. Wait, what do the planks look like? Oh, okay, they're blue planks. Okay, maybe we can. Um, let's check out what the table says if we can have a blue door oh wait oh that looks that looks sick wait so uh I, i'm not sure how i want to do this because we can connect it in like that and have it gray or we connect it in and we could turn it blue i don't like how the blue looks going into this though so we would have to make this too thick as well um and if we were to make it too thick, then we also need like a block here probably. So um, let's just go ahead and experiment real quick. If we do this, okay, that doesn't that doesn't look bad because that kind of connects into this and it kind of makes sense like it's flowing, except now this is wrong and we need to grab that arcane wood real quick. Um, 
And uh, so if I do this, yeah, uh, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, it doesn't quite look right. This doesn't look right either. That will need to be blue. Um, and it's potential. What we can do is set up trap doors to kind of change this up, and then we can also we can run this wood and do it differently. And um, uh, we might. I think we'll just go with this though for now. So I'm gonna kind of go around and set these up and just go with this and we can always change this design later on because it is also just our starter base i have a bigger base planned and kind of have a good idea for it so hopefully that'll look pretty cool when we get to it and yeah we'll just have to hope this turns out in the end <laughs> and overall i think it turned out pretty good i think it looks fine and um on the inside we put a waystone so now we can teleport here and we can go between everybody's bases and uh, I've got basic storage set up, and we have got a ton of food, actually. We are kind of situated. Um, I experimented around and found out that we can upgrade normal chests to be gold chests, and just like the backpacks, so we can have serious amounts of storage. Um, I've got my little head collection on display over here, you know, getting that up and running. I'm super excited to, uh, you know, expand this collection, because I love that. We got this little trophy, too. This is super cool. Um... But yeah, we're just going to have to build this up. And with that, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Until then, be sure to take care. Bye bye.